Did you know a simple, regular stretching routine can actually improve race times? I'm a Paralympic tennis player for Australia. I won a gold medal in Rio 2016 in the men's quad doubles. The more flexible I am, the less likely I am to get injured because of the way that I serve and move my upper body constantly being in the wheelchair and playing tennis and also helps me with serve speed, ground stroke speed and just being an all-round better tennis player. There was a match a couple of years ago where I was serving the ball at around 100 kilometres an hour and I knew by doing different stretches and working on my flexibility and mobility that I could get some more pace on my serve and my serve actually went up 15 kilometres an hour. A lot of my stretching routine involves me using resistance bands. Broomsticks are a big one, obviously, so I can do some shoulder dislocation stuff. And just overall rotation and mobility and flexibility. Heath was able to improve his serve speed by using targeted stretching to increase his shoulder's range of motion. Targeted stretching is common amongst Olympians of all disciplines. Stretching not only increases your range of motion, but it also helps reduce the risk of injury and helps maintain healthy muscles and tendons. While Heath uses advanced PNF stretching and resistance training to focus on his arms and shoulders, the most common stretches for the everyday athlete are static and dynamic. Static stretching involves holding the stretch for 15 to 60 seconds, while dynamic stretching targets certain muscle groups that are best activated through movement. Static stretching used to be encouraged before workouts, but research now shows that it may actually hinder athletic performance. Instead, it is recommended that athletes should warm up with dynamic stretching, enabling proper blood flow to the tissues, and then recover with static stretching after exercise to help target the blood flow to the specific muscle groups. It is important to breathe while stretching. This helps the oxygen get to your blood and muscles. I used to do powerlifting. The training was so different. The reason you don't want massive muscles when you're playing tennis is because it really restricts your movement. By being fit and having more flexibility, it gives you a bigger range of motion so you can do more on the tennis court. Different sports require stretching different muscles in different ways. When Heath switched from bodybuilding to tennis, he changed how he trained. Weightlifters aim to increase muscle mass by lifting weights. For a tennis player like Heath, more muscle mass does not equal more power. The power of his serve is heavily influenced by achieving a greater range of motion. Runners and hurdlers rely on hip mobility, so they focus on lower body stretching and flexibility. Unlike a tennis player, runners require a stiffer upper body to help maintain their posture. I chase my dreams by being really dedicated and just enjoying and loving what I do for a living. Never give up. Keep working as hard as you can towards what you want to do. Every athlete should stretch, but as we found out, the optimal type of stretching depends both on your body and the sport. Find a new stretching routine that's right for you and your sport and see if you can spot any differences in your performance.